What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new movie review and today we'll be discussing the film which by the way will be available to stream on Amazon Prime when this video drops and I'm talking about the new erotic thriller by the name of The Voyeurs which I got a chance to check out early courtesy of Amazon. I'm really excited to let you all know if this erotic thriller is worth checking out this weekend all in this spoiler free review. Before we break it all down do me a favor and check me out on all my other social media accounts. If you all are new to the channel well welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. If you all enjoyed this spoiler free review well make sure to like and share this review. It helps out the channel a lot but I also appreciate the support and in those comments Let's talk about the film. Let me know if you were excited for it, if you like this cast, but more importantly, once you've seen this erotic thriller, what did you think about it? Let's talk about the highs, the lows, what did you think of the direction, the cinematography, the performances, the twists, the turns, and more importantly, what did you think about that ending? Let's talk about it all in the comments below. So I will say right up top, this movie will not be for everyone, ladies and gentlemen. As I mentioned, this is an erotic thriller. And for me personally, I love thrillers. Uh, you know, erotic thrillers falls within the subgenre of the thriller genre, but I don't normally gravitate towards erotic thrillers. Not just not because of the sexual nature of the film. I don't get uncomfortable with sex scenes, but it's more so I find erotic thrillers, and I'm gonna put some up on the screen right now for you all to see, for example. But I, I tend to find those movies to be a little bit too dramatic for my taste, to be a little bit too over the top, to be a little bit too unrealistic in the situation at hand. So I don't always watch this type of film. The last one I think I watched was uh, Netflix's, what was it, 365 DNI, which was a very toxic film, which is another reason I don't really dive into this genre. They tend to be toxic and have like the wrong messages and they romanticize toxicity. And listen, who am I to judge, you know, erotic novels and this erotic thriller? Because I watch horror films. I love horror genres. And I watch people get their heads chopped off and bloods and guts and everything. So what does that say about me? So who am I to judge people that like this genre? But nonetheless, here we are discussing this film. When I saw the trailer a couple months ago or about a month and a half ago, I was intrigued. I'm like, okay, this seems like an interesting story. It seems like it's saying something about today's society. But also, I like the actors. Uh, Sydney Sweetney, I, I like her. Justin Smith, I like him. So here we are discussing and starting off my positives. And I want to touch on those two actors, starting off with the lead of this film, Sydney Sweeney, who I think personally, the stuff I've seen her on on television, like Euphoria, which I can't wait for season two of that, uh, but more recently, The White Lotus, I think she plays so great in her roles on television. Unfortunately, the movies I've seen her in hasn't really worked that great for me. There was a movie that came out on Amazon. It was a horror film that I just wasn't a fan of her acting, but it was more so the script, but neither here nor there. I think for me, this is her best role on a film that I've seen thus far. I think her as, I believe her name was Peppa. She's a newlywed uh, woman married to Justice Smith, who we'll talk about here in a second. But it seems like everything's going well in her life. She's just married, moving in with her husband for the first time, which, by the way, not to give too much away in the film, because I want you all to kind of experience this if you decide to watch this erotic thriller. But essentially, this married couple moving in for the first time, really nice apartment. They look across the street, and their neighbors have their windows wide open to see right into their lives and what I mean by right into their lives not what they're watching on Netflix or what they're eating for dinner but what's going on in the bedroom if I know if you know what I mean and they get tied into as Jada Smith would say this entanglement in their relationship. So I'll just kind of leave it at that. But seeing Peppa, again, it seems like everything's going well in her life, but she sees this couple and she kind of gets entangled in their relationship in, in regards to being obsessed with what's going on with them, which I think her character in the narrative that the film is trying to say, which I think they do an okay job at, I'll get to my criticisms about the narrative of this film, but in regards to what Peppa's doing in this film, She's spying on these people and she's so consumed with what they're doing, she's forgetting about her own life. She's forgetting about her husband and the stuff that, you know, what they've built together because she's so engrossed and so in infatuated by their sexual life, their personal life and everything that they've got going on. So I really enjoyed her narrative and kind of how she navigates through the film emotionally and there's a lot of emotions that this character goes through uh, for better or worse. And I thought again that Sydney did a really good job of bringing out that character in my opinion. But speaking of her co-star, her co-lead, Justin Smith, who very similar to her, 
I like him on television. I liked him in the stuff I've seen more recently, Generation on HBO Max, as he plays Chester. I think he's a really cool character and a really interesting character on that show. But translating to film, I'm, I'm not the biggest Justin Smith fan, but I got to say he did a pretty good job in this, in this movie. Now, he's not as heavily involved in the narrative besides being the husband that's, okay, yeah, honey, this is interesting. This is, okay, this is a turn on for us, I guess. This is something new that we're doing. Because, again, if you all don't know the definition of this film, the Voyage, uh, the voyeurs. Essentially, the definition of it is people that watch other people have sex and they get off on that. Which I don't know what would you call me for someone that's watching the movie about people doing that. Me watching that. What does that make me? But neither here nor there. He's like, yeah, honey, this is cool, I guess. But after a while, you see Justin Smith's character Thomas start to be like, is am I not enough? Is our relation not enough? Are you like, are you? Do you want to be with them? So seeing him kind of handle that and seeing all his twists and turns is really interesting. So as far as our two main leads. I thought they gave solid performances. I thought that the the script kind of, you know, changed my thoughts on some of the characteristics of our characters. But also, I do want to point out Ben Hardy, who plays Sebastian, who's the guy who's in the relationship with the women, the, perp, the people that they're spying on. I thought he did a really good job. I've only seen Ben in a couple movies. I know his first film was X-Men Apocalypse as Angel, uh, which let's not even talk about that. Uh, and that's really the only thing I've seen him in. But I was pretty impressed by his thrilling, kind of menacing nature, mysterious nature of this photographer who's doing things outside of his marriage with other women and, and what uh, his character goes through. I was pretty impressed by him. So I thought for the most part, guys, that the performances were pretty solid. I thought the cinematography was pretty solid in this film. I thought, again, the theme of what the film was trying to say which I think they over they, they threw their hand and kind of beat you over the head with this message, but the message of the film is we get so consumed with everyone else's lives, whether it's on our phones, scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through Instagram, and we just get so lost in their lives, we forget to live our own lives. So I kind of like how the film throws that kind of social commentary within the film. And I thought that they for the most part, handled it pretty well. But let's get into my criticisms, guys. This film, as I mentioned, when it comes to this genre, when it's just like over the top and just like this really wouldn't happen in reality, there's a lot of that going on. Now, I will say the first half and the third act are really when the film has the most interesting elements to it. The setup was really interesting. The, the first half of this film, to me, was a legit, really good, thrilling aspect of a thrilling film. The second part of this movie, guys, this is where the film kind of loses me because we see our character, and I won't say who, but one of our main characters does something against the grain, which I just don't think mentally, um, again, I mentioned that this genre plays into toxicity and just kind of romanticizing certain elements of like bad characteristics in people. And I just like, I, I, I can't really roll with where this film is going. And then in the third act, it kind of, you know, flips itself on the head. But that second half of the film, man, really kind of was a, a bit of a bore fest. And also just really kind of narratively speaking, just didn't make that much sense to the characters that we had seen on film. And it just kind of went from zero to a hundred, like really, really quick. And I just thought that the way that they handled this switch in tone, switch in the narrative just wasn't executed from my personal taste, which brings me into, again, this film um, gives you a lot of twists and turns. And I think the one main twist, and when you all see the film, you know what I'm talking about, I just didn't buy it. Uh, I just didn't buy on a, and again, I know this is this is the trope. This is what plays in this genre. I just, just like, to me, it's just like, what world are we living in that this would go down, that this would happen? It just, it wasn't believable for me in that sense. And once we kind of go throughout the film, again, I thought that the performance was really strong and I still think the performances are strong, but I think the script, unfortunately, plays against the characters and it plays against what we've learned from these characters in the first half of the film and it just really switches it on the head just to play into the tropes. I don't like when films build characters and then they just throw them into the stereotypical tropes with or come within that genre, which I thought really kind of was a detriment to this film. Outside of those things, you know, I have to say, it's very toxic. I, I don't know if the message, again, I feel like this film's message was was saying something for the most part, again, about living in other people's lives and not minding your own goddamn business, uh, neither here nor there, but I feel like the film just really beat you over the head with that message, especially when you get the big, big twist, and it's just like, really... I, I, I'm not an idiot. I know what you all are trying to say, and it's just like the film to me was just kind of like forcing down your throat. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Is it cool? Are we being unique? I just felt like the film just kind of really played its hand into what it was trying to say. So there's other things I can say negatively about this film, but I don't want to give too much away in regards to the spoilers. But again, when you all see this movie, 
This is just a lot of moments where I'll give it props for. I was entertained. I was like, what the? This is those type of movies where you're sitting down watching it with your friend and your significant other. You're just like, no, that ain't, she ain't, he ain't about, to, and they do it. It's that type of film. And sometimes it plays to that, but then sometimes, like, come on, they're not. It's that type of movie, ladies and gentlemen. So before I give you all my overall thoughts and my score of this film, if you haven't already, make sure to like, share, leave your thoughts in the comments once you've seen the film. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So overall, what do I think about this movie? I think think that it plays within its genre, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing. I do applaud the performances. I do applaud the narrative that it was trying to say before it unfortunately played too much into the message of the film and trying to beat the audience over the head of what they were trying to say in regards to social media, minding your business, being in people's other business and all that stuff. And then also to just some of the twists, some of the turns just felt too unrealistic for my personal taste. So with all that being said, knowing that this is an erotic thriller, knowing that it has certain tropes and certain things that it has to kind of play within to appease its normal audience, because I'm not the target audience, I can admit that, I'm going to give this film a 2.8 out of 5. Again, on an erotic scale, I, I didn't touch on the erotic nature of this film, there's some pretty interesting, hot and steamy sexual scenes that don't pan away from the camera. You're seeing what's going on. So on an erotic level, this is probably, you know, one of the best erotic films I've seen in a long time <laughs> of that nature. But as far as a narrative in a film goes, like I said, 2.8 out of 5 from me. Take that score for what it is and let me know if you end up seeing this movie and if you did. What did you think about it? Again, the performances, the direction, the story, the message. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let's talk about it in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. That is my review. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure before you leave this video to like it, share it, comment on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. That way you don't miss any of my other future reviews for movies and shows. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope you enjoyed this review. We'll see you on the next video.